So I'm back with another Nomura deck, and uh, I had to try her out in an Ocean Man deck. We love, we love Namor, we love Orko, we love Atuma, and now that we've got an Ocean Woman, I called this naturally the Ocean People deck, and you'll see some other sort of sea-themed cards. Giganto, I think, is a big sea creature. Wave, we got sand, we got a shark. And when you fuse all that together, you get uh, a fun little kind of Electro Sandman ramp deck with some of these uh, solo lane cards like Namor, Atuma, Orca, and of course, Namora. Now, I'll be upfront, this deck's terrible. I had an awful run with this. It did not feel good. You would think with the featured location, Superflow, it helps, but I actually kind of built this for a regular curve, and then everybody else is benefiting from Superflow, and we're really not benefiting all that much. So uh, I would not recommend trying to climb with this. We do have some fun games. There's some great moments for Namora. Of course, it's fun to play these goofy ocean man cards um so hopefully a worthwhile video just not a deck that i would recommend now that said i do want to talk about namora at large because although this deck is bad i think namora is actually a very good card i've seen a ton of slander out there <laughs> insulting namora uh there's this reddit post comparing namora to adam warlock kang and Hercules, which is just completely ridiculous because if you look at the data right now, filtering for 500 games or more, so we're already getting into some meaty sample sizes, and at infinite, so, you know, good filters here, on untap.gg, Nomura has the very best deck in Marvel Snap. It's number one with a 0.44 cube rate and a 59% win rate. I think it's Dara's list that he played yesterday. It's actually pretty similar to the list I built with that same uh, late game on reveal core of Wong, White Tiger, Namora, Doom, and Odin, and some of those move cards, Nightcrawler, Jeff, and Nocturne, which I'm kind of proud how close I got to that. This was some better filler pieces than we ran. So kind of minus armor and Cosmo and like plus White Widow and Ironheart, that sort of stuff. Um, and it's just the best deck in Marvel Snap right now uh, with with a pretty, again, pretty large sample size uh, already filling in. So Nomura does not look like a Kang or an Adam Warlock that's ridiculous. She looks like a Miss Marvel right now. Now, you know, it's still early to like go out and buy this card based on that. Like there will be more data. It will improve over time. We'll see where this lands. I think there's gonna be a big patch tomorrow, which frankly nerfs Leech, which might make Nomura even better not worse, but as metas kind of shift and shake up, certain matchups might, you know, unfold and, and hurt the card. So I would still hold off a little bit as we see more data on Nomura, but but man, by this weekend, I, I would check things out and see what people are saying because Nomura might end up being a really, really good card you regret missing in the spotlight caches. And I, I feel like it just needs to be acknowledged that the sort of sentiment or discussion around Nomura currently does not reflect the data that we're seeing. So... Um, I, you know, I, I'm always hesitant to make uh, purchasing d recommendations or whatever. I just wouldn't write this card off yet. I think a lot of people kind of locked into their brain said, I'm not spending my spotlight keys this week. I'm not going to get Nomura. She's bad. That preconceived notion. And now they're kind of just setting a, uh, you know, discourse that suggests Nomura is bad to kind of defend that decision, probably trying to overcome some of that cognitive dissonance. But um, I'm here to say I don't think Namora is a bad card at all. I would say solid at worst and potentially very, very good, even maybe one of the more meta-defining cards in the game because it's just, again, it just pumps out so much crazy stats. It's a 516, even sometimes a 511 is still really good, even if you only hit one card with Namora. So this deck is bad. Do not play the ocean people, but I don't think Namora is bad by any stretch of the imagination. As we get more and more data, we'll know 100%, but for now, it's looking like Namora is actually quite good, just not in this deck. Oh my god, Ego, <laughs> dude. Now listen, every time I snap on Ego, because you know, snap on Ego, that's the meme. People retreat every single time. So even though I'm gonna do it again. Oh my God, they snap back. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. I mean, I think our deck's okay for this. Like Namor's kind of tough, but Jeff and a wave is a great curve for the the uh, the ego, but mad props to Bolt Strike. Normally people just retreat on this and I never get to see ego games play out. This is my first game, by the way, with this deck. I just queued this up. So I was a little bit alarmed at first. 
So Jeff is awesome. Atuma, very risky. Bad draw for us. It could go in Wakanda and be safe. Could find an armor for it. I mean, Nomura is not great for this plan either, but the important thing is just like curve. You know, we have a three, a four, a five. That can sometimes be good. Just like decent stats on curve. Lizard's really good for them too, though, because unlikely to be turned off both in general and in our deck. Oh, the super flow. Put that Atuma mid, please, God. Please, God, put that Atuma mid. Oh, Ego, you freaking genius, dude. That's so clutch. Oh my God, we might actually win this. That's such a clutch hit. Totally random, of course, as Ego is, but really nice. Yeah, okay, right, Guardian turned off. This Jeff going right, obviously that sucks, but we'll trade that for the Atuma, right? Um, Namor left would be good. This is kind of okay if Namora goes left, actually. It's not that bad in general. Nebula's, you know, scaling. Like, this is still really good power output on average. It's probably at least, what, like, eight, nine, ten. Blink, uh... Blink whiff. Why did Blink whiff? Oh, no, the armor's such a bad hit. Oh. Why did Blink whiff? There was no higher cost card in the deck than Red Guardian. Is that real? They're all in hand? Leech. Oh, well, we're kind of just going for stats here anyway, I think. Uh, we have a really good chance because the opponent doesn't play left or you know, Vigo doesn't play left. We're just in a good spot. That helps even more because I think mid is totally secured. The odds of them playing left are basically one in three. Oh, no, it's got to be small, though, right? It's got to be. Yeah, nice. Nice, we take the AQB Ego game for our first game. Really bad props to the opponent for snapping on Ego. Every time I do this, there's so many Ego games you guys haven't seen in recordings because people retreat and it's like no fun to put in the video, you know? There's probably been five plus Ego games where I, I follow the rule of snaps and uh, people retreat. Uh, all right, Fogwells is interesting. Namora is very good. Agent 13 and Ink. All right, maybe a Loki deck? I would say Loki's kind of bad. Is Superflow the feature location for real? This is the third time I've seen it today. Like, I, this one legit feels like it might be. I'm <laughs> not sure. Let's go Electro here to maybe preserve some Nomura lines on like Nebula and Electro. Uh, okay, just kidding. Killmonger does not like me. That's fine. Maybe we'll get a good five drop here. Oh, never mind. Uh, what else? Superflow, yeah, five drop, yeah. What else do you think? No, Namor or Atuma would be fine? If not, we always have Jeff. Oh my god, never mind, we have Orca, bro. Ha <laughs> ha! Thank you, Tinkerers, Superflow, and Electro, dude. That's insane. Uh, so now we can go like Namor mid and hope to find a Namora. Definitely getting some uh, shieldy, Loki E vibes here. Oh, dude, no, no, Giganto, no. I mean, still turn four, so we don't really have to play Giganto yet. I think Namor's fine. We're still gonna be at six. If we find Namora, we play Namora right into Odin. If we don't find Namora, we probably just Giganto left, right? It's only plus nine, but that's pretty significant still. Nomura would be insane though. Oh my God, the dream. It's coming together, dude. <laughs> no, I don't know though. It's, it, we're good though, man. I don't know. This is pretty exciting. I think we have a shot to make this work. This is the dream. Don't you dare steal this from me opponent somehow. <sighs> I mean, 16 and 21 is pretty nuts, but that claw, you know, certainly opens up a lot of opportunity for them. What's crazy is we could have had Orca and Giganto. Can you imagine? Namor is a little smaller than Giganto, but also kind of more fitting too. Although I think Giganto is like a sea creature, right? Or is he just a big guy? I don't know. I, <laughs> I kind of put him in here because he's just a good big ramp guy that I thought was maybe a sea creature. And I think that's true. I think I, I saw a version of him or something that was like a big fish coming out of water or something. Yeah, see like here's him like looking like a whale. Hold up, let's see what the opponent does before I... Oh, Cosmo, I got around it just in time. So now the Odin's a lot worse other than just being a power play. Uh, but see, like, Giganto's like a big whale guy. See this here? Atlantean beast, yes. I think he's definitely fish-related. 
Cosmo is tough. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. We got the Nomura out early. They don't have it. They can't, they can't beat the fish people. I don't know what I would have done this turn. It might have still just been Odin right. Just to, you know, like we're pretty good. I had 10, I had eight. Let's just go ahead nine, right? You know, maybe they can't contest all that, which is probably true. I don't think Giganto left would have made more sense here. Just increasing this gap so that we've got a good medium sized gap across the field. But yeah, per perfect win here. Absolutely dreamy. Okay, we're definitely not getting sacred timeline done. Project Pegasus is insane for us. Do we go for the on curve play? Maybe we go for the ramp actually. This is kind of cool. I don't know why, but this feels better to me. <laughs> I can't explain why. Usually people play left more, so just having more power left seems relevant. That said, you know, without an armor, this power is pretty limited long term. Moon Girl and Cosmo come down. Interesting. The early Moon Girl. They must have had a pretty cool hand for that, huh? So. Yeah, a wave here lets me do Orca, of course. Could still play Sandman on five or another six. This is a decent looking little Nomura setup, right? Atuma left and Orca right. Armor, okay, that would have been good for my Atuma. If we get Nomura, we'll be fine either way, right? We won't mind, but. Yeah, Giganto a little stuck with the Atuma left, unfortunately. I mean, either way, Sandman mid here seems solid on five. Devil dinosaur is big. Jeez. Okay. Uh, Namora. <gasps> Dare I dream? Could we possibly hit an Odin? Dare I dream? Because otherwise, the double dinosaur is going to feel kind of impossible to beat. Oh, it went left again. What the heck? Second devil dinosaur? What? Do they have like a tribunal or something? What's about to happen? I am so confused. What is this? This is a great line for me though. I mean, it's a ton of, we're not gonna win left, but we're just so strong elsewhere. What is this? It's a third What? What? Bro. Excuse me? Wait a minute. This was from the sacred timeline. That's the moon girl one sacred timeline. Dude, they almost got there. Like, that's pretty wild. This is a good game for us though. You can see like, you know, even the left was like giga gone. Um, they kind of maybe still worried about it a little bit after seeing this go up to 15, right? Cause they were at like 18, 22. I guess if they'd mapped it out, they might've kind of seen that they didn't need it, but um 26 power orcas pretty sick that's really cool and still 21 mid i mean we had some help from project pegasus of course though otherwise this curve wouldn't have come together so cleanly okay good uh good ramp hand for sure kind of leads okay into an amora as well Ooh, super flow wow let's go all right electro into sandman is kind of interesting now we like wave better not with this current hand no we actually might just go electro sandman odin it's a rare, rare curve. You don't see a lot, but oh my God, magic as well. Okay, now I feel like maybe I need to save Odin for Namora because I just need like enough power, you know? And and presumably the opponent's deck is also just kind of gonna have big stuff to do, you know? Um, this could be the Namora spot. So maybe I go like Orca here, try to get maybe something big mid, I don't know. Can't put a Giganto mid, so it'd have to be like Namor. Oh, Mr. Negative's tough to beat. Ugh. I don't think we're gonna beat that, to be honest. Namora shows up though, man. That's, uh, that's intriguing. Can I get it like a Namor mid? Namor mid plus Jeff next turn. Although I kind of need to keep, oh, blink Mr. Negative is so, oh my God, dude, that's so nuts. Oh, we're screwed. Namor mid? Namor mid, Atuma mid. So this let me play Namora on six and Odin on seven. I can even finish with the Jeff late too. I mean, listen, I, th this does not seem remotely big enough to me because you know that Iron Man's already like totally jacked up, um, crazy. But uh, it's also wild that this sees it as a five cost. 
You know, I, I guess I've never even tested this. I, I would think it would see it as a zero, but I guess not. Looks at the base cost in deck. Oh boy, they are hard up mid. You're right, dude. They are going crazy over there. Um, yeah, Namora, Odin. We'll wait to play the Jeff later so it can go post Odin, basically. Oh no, that won't work, will it? Because it'll see it before it reveals. No, never mind. I guess Jeff's not getting played this game. I, I don't see this happening, man. I mean, maybe we went left at mid, but. Well, they don't have like a Mystique Iron Man lined up, so maybe, it's, you know. Oh my god. No, we're totally screwed, dude. What on earth, bro? This is a really cool game for us, but we just can't compete with this power up. But you know, we're only adding five and five, so we we literally know we're already losing. <laughs> we're only adding eight and eight here, which is not enough, uh, and then only five and five. Is there any world where Giganto doesn't mean any better? Who's a Baxter building? Nah, it's kind of similar in theory, but nah. I mean, we'll we'll give them the win. They have a good game going here. I don't want to ruin it for them. We're not going to mind a cube. Jubilee just for the stat dump. I love it. It's pretty funny. I like that this game kind of showcases our, um, you know, our output here. In hindsight, the Sandman might have been pretty decent, but this is a cool little line. I don't have magic in the stack. I don't think we need to ramp, you know, kind of wants to play faster weirdly like you don't you don't want to go too deep because you can't play multiple cards per turn but okay we got a atuma wakanda that's very very nice uh electro kind of wants me to skip the atuma in some ways but i don't really have anything to do with it anyway so we'll see shadowland could be a namora buff electro sandman the more natural curve here electro sandman odin even it's kind of interesting could just like stack up rap mid probably actually and then try to use like orca to carry right Ooh, namora also makes things interesting um so with this namora we we do have kind of an intriguing line like don't play electro and we just play like straight up atuma namora odin and buff the ninja for 10 but that just doesn't feel good enough to me i don't know electro doesn't really change much though right because i'm still playing atuma namora odin on curve probably well i can play orca a turn early so i could play atuma orca namora and forego the odin that's probably a little bit better this is one of those curves where i, I wish namor was a five drop <laughs> right like i wish namor was just slightly bigger and a five that would be better for me but we'll try this i mean this is going to be 15 minus three or something it's like 12 this is going to be 21 which does look t oh my god dude leech why do you do this to me why are you the way that you are i hope this leaked ota is real and comes through tomorrow i mean it looks real leech will die in death yet again i don't see a 5-5 leech being played much 4-2 leech it's just too good Dude, um, I'll probably talk about this at the beginning of the video, but uh, the best deck in Marvel Snap right now, according to the data, is a Nomura deck. Pretty similar to the one we built yesterday, but I think this one's from Dara. It's like eight or nine cards the same, like a little bit of movement, the kind of late game package we have with Tiger, Doom, Odin, Wong, Nomura. Just some different like filler pieces. Um, Best second in the game right now, according to the data, right? And that's with Leech being a pretty big force in the meta. So my thoughts are like, what happens when Leech goes away? I mean, I guess this is my best line. I, it's honestly not, I think uh, the idiot, uh, the, what's his idiot pizzas? Ultron maybe? Maybe you don't have Ultron or they would have slammed it, right? I, I don't know, it seems like they're kind of hesitating here. But, um, Namora's, which by the way, people are memeing on Namora like she's a bad card. I, I can tell you exactly what happens. People get in their mind that a card is good or bad based on their preconceived notions, right? And then they decide to make a purchasing decision based on those preconceived notions. Like I'm not getting Namora. And then Cognitive Dissonance tells you, well, Namora must be terrible because I didn't buy it. Like, I, you know, obviously. Oh, Shadow King. Oh my God. 
Perfect. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, this is the dream. Okay. They just don't win anywhere. That's that's perfect. I don't know. These are miscalculations. The like, orc is an ongoing card, of course. The so Shadow King does nothing. It just hurts you because it debuffs your sunspot. Shang Chi. That, that, that's a cool call. Like you know, I had priority. Shang Chi is pretty smart. I think that's, that's a reasonable play. They gotta might play something big here. Maybe they were expecting like an Amora or something, and they tried to Shadow King around that. But the, the math just isn't there because of the sunspot. So yeah, we'll we'll take that, man. Yeah. The, the... Leech. Leech just didn't do it, dude. A little too techy, maybe. So anyway, you know, people have cognitive dissonance. They, they, they choose not to buy the card. Their brain convinces them, well, the card must be bad. I didn't buy it. You know, I, if it was a good card, I'd be buying it kind of thing, you know? So they meme on it, even though it currently has the highest win rate in the game, which, you know, still not the largest sample size, but this is among decks with 500 or more games. And this one's actually up to 700 almost. Nomura's number one. Like we're getting into some some meaningful, statistically significant sample sizes. Nomura looks great. Okay, uh, armor is pretty cool for a Tuma, but we're losing a Tuma. Why are my locations always the worst? Uh, armor here is good if we hit a Tuma. Otherwise, I could go Jeff and try to armor afterwards if we hit a Tuma. That maybe leaves me a little more flexible in case we hit something else. Doctor Strange. Whoa, move deck maybe. Ooh, okay. I mean, I think we definitely still go Electro, right? Oh, maybe Wave, actually. Yeah, Wave's better. Uh, Nomura is honestly chill. We could do it. Uh, we would actually probably play the Nomura in Shuri's Lab, right? Because Nomura would have a hard time keeping up with Lab's natural organic scaling. So we would want, you know, the Nomura to hit the small cards elsewhere, basically to make sure that uh, we can keep up with lab by playing stuff. This could be a really good Atalan, you know? Ooh, that's a crazy Phoenix Force though. Oh God, dude. Maybe they maybe they don't have Phoenix Force because of Atalan. Dude, here's the Nomura. Um, oh my God, and the Odin, dude. Do we do this instead? Uh, or actually here. No, that's uh, I think we do this instead, right? Let's Orca into Nomura Odin now. I, I think the sad news is we're probably still going to lose if they hit that Phoenix Force. Especially if they have Tribunal, of course. It's just... Cr oh, they hit the Phoenix Force off the Atalan. That's so tilting, dude. It's really tilting. I mean, I had a good hand off of it as well, but... Pretty sad. Man. Just hard to beat decks with, like, un... You know, untethered power caps, basically. I mean, if they don't have a tribunal, you know, maybe maybe we can spread our power enough, but this just doubling every turn like this is crazy, right? It, it's just obscene amounts of power. Tribunals already, because this goes to 36 and then 72, right? So tribunals already, uh, basically, you want 25 each or something. Uh, and that doesn't count more Shuri's lab buffs and other plays. It's, it's not that simple. And they might even have a ghost spider, too, sometimes. Okay, only one move and nothing played here. That's kind promising can orca beat a tribunal swap here i don't think so right tribunal goes down here it's 18 dang it's close dude if they don't have tribunal like i said maybe maybe but i would just move the torch left in that case or right and and probably have enough because it's armor it only 13 doesn't really feel like it contests i mean i'm assuming they had the tribunal they snap but maybe they just snapped on the phoenix force how do you skip your turn five though? Surely you have like a, a, a Nimrod or a something to do. I mean, the Infinites. Oh my God, they don't have it. Oh, the orc is too big. <laughs> the boar is too big. I can't believe it. I was getting tilted. Dang, dude, okay. Okay, weird world. I mean, honestly, Nomura Absorbing Man is pretty insane. Uh, like, I'm very happy with this hand already. We might just play, like, straight up Nebula, Armor Right, Nomura Mid, Absorbing Man Mid. Call it a day, right? Okay. Yeah, we we can Cable Mid. It's it's. I might want to wait till Superflow goes off, though, honestly. Oh, no, wait, Widow. Uh, well now it looks like Nomura Absorbing Man left, right? Does that mean I put Cable mid here? I just delay myself a whole turn if I do is the problem. Dr. Octopus is also pretty intriguing. Uh, 
This this kind of moves back an entire turn. But if I don't do it, there's no Nomura anyway, right? So like, what difference does it make? Do I think Nomura is my best way to get a lot of power is another question. I don't know. I don't, I, and I, I really can't make a play next turn either. So it's weird. Dang, dude, this is a tough call. Cause like, I need two spaces to play. Well, no, absorb, well, no, absorb me has to go there. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. We may not be playing Nomura. I just, I just need stuff to do, I think. Shang-Chi is pretty interesting. But it does have some Shang-Chi targets from my deck, of course. Yeah, I think we're just not, I think we're just not Nomura gamers, right? Baron Zemo seems just too good to pass up to me. It's like just a big old pile of stats. I might get an Electro. Oh no, I'm still getting from their deck, huh? No, 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 it's just draw from their, we're not swapping decks. Sandman's fine. I mean, I think this is actually still a decent Nomura for the record. Uh, I think Doc Ock is probably too risky. Nomura just buffing Cable a little bit here is fine. I mean, it's still a, a, an 11 power play. That's what's kind of crazy about Nomura, right? It's a 511. 511's good. That's not bad. There's that Atuma. Uh, magic. A little late. Yeah, I can't kill that Atuma easily. Do I just go for the big play here? I'm worried about Orca. Kind of a cool line here to beat Orca, but I guess I just lose, don't I? Unless they move a Jeff. I wonder if they like move a Jeff right. I just went here and I kill the Orca here. Giganto could also go left. Uh, maybe it's Giganto left. God, that's a hard call. Like, which one did they draw, right? <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to say Giganto left because that's the easier one to predict, uh, like, where it's going. But Orca mid also could be a pretty spicy play. I just don't like anything right enough. Oh, no, it's Orca mid. Oh, no, dude. No, dude. No, I had it right. No! This is one of the super annoying 50-50 games. It's like, what did they draw? I would've won, dude. I even called the Jeff move and everything. Oh, God. And this isn't one of those trust your first instinct sort of things, because it's like, it's just it's just random, right? There's no, there's no way to know what they got. I actually think we made the right play because Orca could technically kind of go anywhere. They may decide to play an unbuffed Orca, right? At least that's possible. Giganto can only go left. So if they're thinking about that, you're, you're more likely to get the hit left. Uh, and then maybe they just give up mid, right? It's a tough one to call. They may have had both. In that case, you know, I would probably play Orca as well. So that might be a data point as well. But pretty tough one. Okay. Uh, Superflow is chill. I mean, I, honestly, it's probably still better to put Nebula down early. Like, the odds of us actually hitting a good curve with, like, Electro or Wave are pretty slim so we're probably playing armor next turn regardless so we maybe we should just put nebula down to give her another turn of interaction uh if we do we'll feel like geniuses i guess but it's a car as well all right uh this is gonna be pretty filled up so nebula's honestly likely to be quite good mid i just hope we don't hit namor right both uh sandman and giganto would be preferred giganto definitely preferred that's amazing uh oh okay <laughs> well all right we know what's going on there i mean we have a 13 point lead and they only have two turns to turn off nebulas it's actually kind of even a bigger lead i'm not i think too mad about this now interestingly uh diablo's base might turn this off if it doesn't i can still kind of the more of this and maybe compete with it so i'm gonna put it here anyway what it's going mid what's cooking there titania and sage oh god dude. wait doesn't that still just give me the nebula win am i crazy i feel like nebula still just wins that and now we tied flooded as well interesting um arguably not the best turn for sandman but honestly just no good time to do anything anyway i really just need demora I'll, I'll just play namor for big body right uh B medium sized body, let's say. <laughs> medium sized body is really what I mean to say. A six. Um, and then, you know, we're just trying to hit. Nomura, probably. Jeff could be cool still. 
Uh, Jeff still, of course, works on Electro fine. Oh, that's interesting. Atuma's still gonna give me a spot to play there, though, so I think we're fine. Like, I can still compete this. And, and, and again, we're gonna pull out mid. Oh, Orca, very big, at least. If the opponent goes for the tie here, we might just win a tiebreaker, I guess. Uh, we do have priority, so a strong Chi would still be pretty nasty. If they have, like, a Doctor Doom, actually, we'll win. Still, that'd be fine. Because, like I said, we'll pull ahead mid off Nebula. I wonder if they counted that Sage math or just said, nah, it's good enough. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure I would have said, nah, it's good enough. 17 feels like a lot. Uh, they could, of course, have a way to buff mid, too. I, I don't know. There could be a weird random, uh, you know, blue marvel. I don't know. Seems unlikely. Seems very, very unlikely, but not impossible. I can't believe this Electro is holding down left, though. That's what's wild. The Electro actually creating some friction for them. It's like, you know, suddenly you can't rely on on that location to be free. You got you to gotta somehow contest it. Cool. Yeah, Nebula Giganto pretty nuts. Can't be mad at all.